connecting chips in your brain turns you into a badass. Before the story starts, Alexa's distant cousin welcomes us into the movie. A man is working on his vehicle, and you know he's a real grease monkey as he sucks his dirty, bleeding finger. He finishes repairs and... I love you. Just alpha male things. This absolute chat of a man is Gray Trace. Or as I know him, knock off Tom Hardy. As he steps outside, this futuristic car pulls up. Inside the car is his girl, doing business girl things. I handle. Oh my god. Gray teases her for talking to the car, but to be fair, he did just profess his love for his. At least mine can talk back. Welcome home, Yeah, I need me one of those. He even buys the groceries. Is that right? I see she's got the new Apple eye table as well. Asha checks the latest trends while Gray indulges in a refreshing beer after a long day's work. Is staying home all day playing with cars a living Gray? Ouch. It's okay. Gray is getting used to Asha wearing the pants in their marriage. But maybe there's time to take it off. No, I'm hungry. Want to print a pizza? Wow, what a time to be alive. Though, Gray would rather have a homemade pineapple pizza instead. Kind of cringe. Switching subjects, Gray asks if Asha wants to take a ride with him for his latest delivery. Apparently, the customer has a must-see home. On the way there, we bask in the stunning views of the futuristic city. It's a clear road to their destination, but what's this? He lives behind the rocks? Nah, it's underground and Asha's loving the vibe. It's a futuristic movie, so we need an eccentric tech billionaire. Here he is with his, uh... It's my cloud. Right, sure. The man turns around and Asha is shook. You're Aaron Keen. The owner of Vessel Computers. As Asha gushes over her husband's unexpected client, she proudly mentions her own company, Cobalt. They specialize in robotic limbs and are slowly catching up to Vessel. No, you're not. Well, goddamn. Though, the man is just stating facts. He directs them over to his latest invention, STEM. That is the most incredible little roach. A roach that can do anything, apparently. Drive anything, talk to anything, calculate anything. It's a new, better brain. Oh, great. I've been needing an upgrade. Huh, that's the name of the movie. Aaron stresses that STEM can benefit society, but Gray is skeptical. Humans can do some things better. It may be the future, but when I look at it, I see 10 guys in an unemployment line. Gray is not a fan at all of this newfangled technology stuff. During their ride home, Asha reprimands Gray for arguing with his most likely last customer. Hey, don't do that. Gray is still stuck in the past, unable to adapt to all- See, and all this is, like he titled it, uh, this is the future Elon Musk warned us about. And now it look like he riding in a Tesla, all right, a self-driven car. And this is, this is the thing about this technology. When this technology starts to be controlled by someone else and not you. See, that's the whole point of you being becoming a transhuman is that Esau can control you when you think that you're in control and you having these neat features you know everything at your convenience right where here it is Esau can step in and send signals to your chip and control you man or control whatever things that have technology in you see that man